Judy's. Judy here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm walking my dog and just out in the beautiful morning. Ah, the sun just came up and I just have something burning on my heart. So I want to share it and encourage me. It'll encourage you, I hope. <sighs> okay, so you know, this walk of waiting for every day for Christ to come and telling people that he's coming and holding your faith and, and all of that. Okay. It is a, it's a, it's a love walk. Okay. It's the way we're showing our love for our groom in this last hour. If I was a God in heaven, if I was God, if I was God, the father, God, the son, God, the Holy spirit, I would want to be boasting that I have a people on earth that are obsessed and care only about my appearing. Sure, they're on the earth. They have to do certain things to make things happen, you know, but but the mostly their heart, well, not mostly, their heart is 100% mine. They are in the world, but they, they, they really want nothing to do with it. They have to do certain minimal tasks to function, to keep their families afloat, but they're, all they want is me. All they want is me. All they want is me. I'm the one they want. They don't want any part of this world. I so said, I would be wanting to be part of that crowd because when this new realm hits and this matrix is over, we're done. That's the realm we're going to be living in. And he doesn't call everybody to live rapture centric. That's why my videos, they don't go to everybody. Okay. God, it's a calling. It's a calling. It gives him glory. It's the joy set before him, the bride. The bride of Christ is the joy set before him that enables him to enact the world's greatest judgment. Okay? It's it's the joy that he sees in us. Come, Lord. So when 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 we get down and depressed and our, our light grows dim, you know, our Father, a part of him isn't as encouraged. So I just want to encourage you guys to stay in that tight-knit relationship, to stay in that place of, come, Lord. It's not for wimps. It's not for everybody. It's hard. You've got to apply faith. You've got to be like, Lord, give me a sign. Make it clear that you want me to keep living like this because, wow, it was effortless in the beginning, but now I'm having to flex my faith muscle. God, and he will. You'll know if you're called to live that as if he's coming every day, if you, if he continues to lead you, you continue to get signs. And I encourage you to go to him because nobody like me or any other watcher can, can push you over that edge of faith, like, like intimacy with Christ can. And you guys, I just want to say, keep on keeping on because he is coming and he's coming soon. And if soon meant that I had to say this for four years, then that's okay. Because in the, in, in, in relation to eternity, what's four years? It's just a blink, right? But I don't believe we have much longer, guys. He has me living a certain way for his purpose. And he wouldn't sabotage me. And he's good. God has always been very logical. He's always been very, you know, for the most part in my life and in my relationship with him, he's, he's smart. He knows how to direct me, you know, and I've relied on him since I was 16 and I'm 48. So I, the guy is trustworthy, okay? But... You know, when he woke our family up in 2013 and said he was coming, I, 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 I was, ec I was ecstatic. I felt so honored that he would fall on my child to announce all this. And, and now four years later, you know, if I didn't look at it through spiritual eyes, I could see it as a curse. Gosh, this is almost a curse to believe, you know, to, to put all my eggs in, in the rapture basket and just to believe and to go through certain hardships because of what I believe. No, but I don't see it that way. I see it as the greatest joy. Look at that moon. I see it as, 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 as like, wow, he called me. He knew. He knew that I would have faith to wait. He knew that he would empower me. And he knew that I, I would feel like I'm going to die on some days. But he knew that I would get, you know, with him and get all intimate with him and figure it out. And he would give me his strength. And I would develop a oneness with him that I had never had before. You know, so you guys, I just want to encourage you. Nobody can answer your questions like Christ. And you know, while we're waiting for him to come, he's going to not just make it miserable. He'll give you certain joys and excitement and strength and help along the way. Okay? And you have to trust him for that. Do you trust him for that? Do you trust him? Because he's calling you into a deeper trust, a deeper relationship for every little need. He knows that he made you 
an emotional being with a body and a soul and a spirit. He's, he didn't call you to be rapture centric to torture you. Although sometimes it can feel that way if we're looking in our eyes of the natural, okay? But give it all up to him. And I just want to encourage you. It gives him so much glory that you wake up today and you say, the Lord's coming today. The Lord is coming today. The Lord's coming. And, and ask him to confirm it. And like me, you're going to see a meteorite. You're going to you're going to have a, a knowing in your spirit. You're going to have a, and something in your conscious tell you, you know, which, which is Christ, I should say. You're going to know. He's going to align circumstances. He's going to set up all kinds of things for you to say, keep on, daughter. Keep on, son. I guarantee you guys, I, I have more to say, but I've got to get, I've got to get on to my exercise. And I, I'm going to move on early in the morning. Then I have to bring my son to his things. And then I, we've got to work on schoolwork. It's, it's a Saturday, but it's, it's a, we got a few things to do today, but I'll make some more videos because I feel like I've just t lightly skimmed the surface of what I'm really trying to say. But you guys, it's a calling. Be so honored that he called you to walk this way. Be so honored. Be so honored. And even though sometimes it feels like torture, say thank you. And thank you that just for this day you're going to lead me. Don't ask him to lead you into five years in the future. That's not, that's the opposite of being rapture centric. Rapture centric you know, believes that you're leaving any moment. So yeah, I get it. You know, you, you have kids or you don't, or you have to plan something. Okay. But just plan it one moment at a time. Okay. I asked the Lord if I could do something for my son in March of 2018, if we're here, because Marty, come, come on, because it's something he really wants to do. And I'm just sitting and waiting on him. Okay. I'm not rushing to do anything. I'm waiting for the answer. I'm waiting for his leading, and I don't think we're going to be here, but God knows everything. Okay, so I love you guys. Bye.